So I don't have any data to show, it's just some <laughs> pitching. <laughs> what happened? Switch to yeah. So basically, I built an email editor like six months back, something like this. So basically, uh, hello. Uh, yeah. So today's talk is basically some bitching about some suffering that I went through. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, from these six months. Um, so so it turns out that creating a button in to render in email is kind of a lot of work. It's like you're not really putting a button in the email, it's like you have to form it out with a lot of tables. So it's that you are actually making the button, which like, this, is, this is actually the code that I use to render the whole button in the email. So the reason for all these things is that I have to end up creating like multiple box. So the first box might be I think the box, first box is wrapping about around it. The second is to adding like paddings or borders. So wrapper, borders, and then padding. Then only you reach the real link. And that's why it's like, that's a lot. Ah. HTML. Then the second uh, suffering is that uh, Outlook is will be giving a, a lot of problem to you is like when, when you try to uh, render an email for uh, Outlook 2007, 2010, and 2013. And that's the IE6 of email clients. And for these three uh, email clients, they can't really like render the line height properly. And this is the hack all oh, the hack that I use. When you when you render line height, it's strange that if you use the line height as a percentage, then it will add weird spacing under hold on. Uh, it will add weird spacing percentage will be on top. So if you set line height to be 1.5, then the 50 extra pixel will be added to the top instead of like putting it like half of it in, like 25 in front and then 25% at the below. That's why this hack is necessary. Yeah. And the other point is uh, Gmail will not render your responsive email. Um, I don't know why, but it seems to be that they, they stripped out all of the hate of your email. So when you render on Gmail, you only left with all the inline CSS. And even on the uh, Gmail mobile app, which you can see in the first uh, image, is actually rendering the desktop version, whereas if you use uh, iPhone, the mail client, it would do it well. But I think for Gmail iPhone app, it will do the first one. Yeah. <coughs> then uh, I think this is the last one. Uh, Android and Android API is not that friendly because it it doesn't allow you to say like when I create a when I register a new uh, <coughs> element to be able to drop on a target, you can't say that uh, what is the, uh, what happened when it dropped, you have to do it at the drop, so this is like how you do or normally, so you have to say that uh, you define the drag start, then you pass all the drop data as a 
something like you have to do it with the data transfer object then when it drops then only you can pull it out or if not doing this way you have to pull it to the global context and use an ID to pull it out when it drops I would more prefer like, something that when I register a, a, a new uh, drag target then it should be able to say that when it drop, then it just return whatever data that is registered at the target. So it's more straightforward and it's easier to understand the code. If not, you have to say that this is the drop, uh, drag target, then maybe on the other file, then only you say that uh, pull this data that you have no idea where it comes from and then try to do something with it. Uh, thank you. So I'm um, Xiaowen. <laughs> Any questions? Uh, yeah. I can change this. Can you put any of your information online anywhere? Because it would be really useful. Um, I mean, I would definitely like to read it. Because <laughs> I used to do HDI emails years ago, and it's a nightmare. It's interesting when you say about AE6 still being <coughs> out of this. But have you got a sort of general blog about this or anything like that? Not yet. <laughs> Please do make it. <laughs> You're really handy. Okay, I'll, I'll try to pull out from the code base. Basically, mm -hmm. there's a lot of hack for the out of 2007, 10, and 13. The rest of the out of clients is actually quite good. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you.